Hello everyone, welcome again to another Word for Today with Ray. And as usual, before we begin, let's go to the Lord in prayer. Heavenly Father, once again, we get to sit before you and your Word, knowing that your desire is that we know about you, that we know your ways and that we know about your Son, Jesus. Lord, that you promised you would guide us into all truth. And we ask that you would do that as we study your book of Esther today. We bless you and we thank you again for this time. It's in your son Jesus' name we pray. Amen. The title to today's lesson is The King Holds Out His Scepter. And it's taken from the book of Esther chapter 5 and verse 2. We left our story with Queen Esther making an unannounced appearance before King Ahasuerus. The bold move could cost her her life. And she stood before him in her royal apparel, and her fate would now be in his hands. In chapter 5 and verse 2 of the book of Esther, we see the reaction of the king to Esther's courageous act. We read, And it was so when the king saw Esther the queen standing in the court, that she obtained favor in his sight. And the king held out to Esther the golden scepter that was in his hand. So Esther drew near and touched the top of the scepter. Our verse begins, And it was so when the king saw Esther the queen standing in the court that she obtained favor in his sight. The tension for Esther must have been insurmountable. She didn't know her fate, and she didn't know if the king would accept her entrance or not. However, let's notice, When the king saw Esther, We should remember that Esther was chosen above all the other contestants throughout the Persian Empire to be queen. She was beautiful, and her ways were far above all the other women who appeared. When King Ahasuerus saw her, the natural result could be none other than that she obtained favor in his sight. The verse continues, And the king held out to Esther the golden scepter that was in his hand. As a demonstration of his favor, the king made the gesture of acceptance and held out his golden scepter. We recall earlier that this was Esther's concern to Mordecai because if he did not hold out the scepter, she would be killed. This wonderful symbol of acceptance was exactly what Esther hoped for when she appeared, and this was what she was willing to risk her life to see. She must have had an overwhelming sense of relief when his scepter was held out. Finally, we read, So Esther drew near and touched the top of the scepter. We can almost picture the scene in our minds as Esther withstood a mountain of tension, found relief when Ahasuerus holds out his golden scepter and walked over to touch the top of it in a gesture of gratitude. The favor of the king was extended to her, And when she knew it, she desired nothing more than to draw near to him and to acknowledge it. By touching the top of the scepter, Esther received the king's favor, and the king received his queen. Proverbs chapter 22 and verse 1 says, A good name is rather to be chosen than great riches, and loving favor rather than silver and gold. To receive the favor of a king is as wonderful as it is with anyone who has authority over us. There is no greater favor than the favor of God Almighty, and we can see his favorable hand at work in Esther's situation. Although she did not know if she had the king's favor or not, God did. And as he orchestrated his will and purposed in her situation, we can be assured that he is working in ours. If we know Jesus Christ as our Savior and Lord, we too shall receive the favor of the King of Kings, and his golden scepter will be raised toward us with his words, Well done, thou good and faithful servant. May God extend his grace to us to live to hear those words. Next time we will see King Ahasuerus inquire of Esther and make her an offer. So read ahead, and we shall join together then. Until tomorrow, there is more. And may the Lord bless you and keep you. May he make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. 
May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace as you continue to study his word in Jesus' name.